So you've had the inspection. Two weeks down the line, the draft inspection report is received in your inbox. What do you do next? Well, I think the first thing that you should do with your staff team is to do a line-by-line -line analysis of that inspection report, a forensic piece of work, as it were. Uh, and what you want to do is to identify those areas that you would wish to push back on, those negative statements, those criticisms that you don't accept. So I think that's a key thing, because clearly in relation to those negative areas that you do accept, you won't be sort of responding to those areas other than putting things right as, as required. Um, but at the same time, there may be sort of areas where you require clarification, because the new inspection reports are actually quite short, they're quite brief, often just a little more than bullet points. Um, so you may not have all the information available to you to actually enable you to, to, to investigate the matter and actually provide a proper response. So you should feel confident in going back to CQC as soon as possible and saying, look, we require more information on these particular areas. And they might be quite extensive in relation to the report itself. Uh, and once you've got that information, you can obviously then respond to it. But you may need to ask for an extension of time before you can actually sort of put in your full response. So you've obviously got then your sort of list of items that you're going to write back to CQC about in their new form. Uh, and I think the key thing is that you should always ensure that there's supporting evidence and that you cross-reference from the form into that evidence. So it's very clear to the inspector what your case is, what you're relying upon, so that you can show that there is something in that report that's just wrong or misleading. So I think that's important as well. Now hopefully then that will all feature in the final report and you'll get a better grading as it were, a better rating. But of course sometimes CQC do make mistakes and even as part of that review process they don't always accept things that perhaps they should do, particularly when you're dealing with the inspector who is marking their own homework, to use that expression. So in that situation what can you do? Well don't just give up and say well I can't do anything now, it's just going to proceed to publication. You can do something and the courts say you can do something and that is to actually ask for an independent review. So if there are four or five things that you can show um, on the basis of objective evidence are just demonstrably wrong or misleading, then you can write back to CQC quickly and say, this isn't good enough. Postpone publication of the report, get somebody properly who's independent within your organization to look at this, because otherwise you're gonna publish something which is inaccurate, which is prejudicial to you as a provider, but equally importantly, is going to be misleading to the public. So those are the, some key ideas that I would say in terms of dealing with um, the, the inspection report when it comes to you.